Man, I really have a love hate relationship with uh, WRK and Sons. Um, as most of you will know, I think. Um, I bought a case razor and it had some serious issues. I still haven't heard back from them on my warranty claim, so hopefully I'll hear back from them about that. Um, Because I would like a case razor that's um, not messed up because it seems like it's a really cool uh, knife, and I'd like to have one. Uh, So I'm hoping they'll get back to me about that because that would be good because that knife is really messed up. (laughs) Um, But anyway, done talking about that. In front of me here, I have a knife that... um, I waited for for a while, and then they released it, and I didn't buy it. Um, And then they re-released it recently, so I just went ahead and bought it. Um, And this is a Case Peanut, but this is in red jig bone with carbon steel. Um, As most of you will know, I prefer carbon steel on my pocket knives, just because it darkens over time, it changes, uh, ages along with the knife. Um, And it's something to, you know, kind of show off you know, I guess. Um, But they didn't have a peanut other than the yellow synthetic, which I'm not a huge fan of. I know a lot of people are. They really like the yellow synthetic because it reminds them of their dad's knives and stuff, I guess. Um, But for me, I'm all about like the jig bone and like wood and, you know, more natural materials that they would have used on pocket knives like 120 years ago, turn of the century pocket knife stuff, you know, jig bone, stag, wood. Uh, Those are the kind of handle materials that I really like. Um, And I like carbon steel because once again, it's, it feels more traditional. It ages along with the knife and I just like it because it, you know, it look, it darkens and stuff and just looks cool and gets that, uh, what is um, Richter say that teeners, think is what he says uh, but it develops a patina over time um, along with the rest of your knife with your bolsters getting scratched up and your brass uh, changing color and everything and your blade will darken and that kind of stuff's just cool to me I like the patina that a you know a pocket knife gets when you carry and use it over time um, so I like carbon steel some people don't like carbon steel um, I won't say that I like carbon steel because it holds an edge longer or or whatever, because I never did the testing on that. Now, a lot of older folks will tell you that that's why they like carbon steel, because they feel like it holds an edge longer. It's easier to sharpen or, you know, something like that. I just like it. <laughs> that's That's how I feel about carbon steel. I wish that case would make more carbon steel knives, and they uh, don't. Although... In the past couple of years, they have brought out more carbon steel knives, which I have been happy about. Uh, But anyway, I spent three minutes uh, rambling about carbon steel and case and my other case knife and stuff. This is a case peanut, a small little knife. Um, I got into these because of the cult of the peanut thread on blade forums. Um, And I carried one, I think, once in San Francisco when I was out there in California uh, because I wanted to have a non-intimidating knife uh, that I could still have a knife but not have one that's going to scare anybody. Um, and that one's a saw cut blue, Caribbean blue bone saw cut uh, peanut with stainless steel. And it's a really nice looking knife. It's really pretty, uh, but I really wanted a carbon steel peanut. Uh, so I finally got that. And this is the Jig Red Bone um, series. They also released a full size copper lock and carbon steel in this series that I think a lot of people will be all about. I haven't decided if I'm going to get one yet or not. Uh, Locking knives really aren't my thing. I like uh, slip joint. Um, But having a full-size copper lock and carbon steel might be kind of cool, so I might get one. I don't know. Um, This is a case peanut, little knife, uh, not scary and everything. Uh, The fit and finish isn't amazing, but it's uh, what I would consider good enough for a, you know, a use, using pocket knife and everything. I will point one thing out that's that's going to upset some people or that would upset some people. It doesn't really bother me. Um, but you can see here the back springs and the liners and everything. There's no gigantic gaps. Maybe some very slight ones. Hard to show off here. Huh, because my... 
my lamp either completely drowns it out or it's not bright enough. Well, that's interesting. Okay, well, there's not any huge gaps. There might be some slight gaps, but you're just going to almost have to take my word for it. Um, the covers are fit well. There's really no major problems with fit and finish on the knife. Um, the blades are not very well centered. I say that the clip blade isn't bad. It is a little bit favoring one side. It's a little bit favoring the uh, this side over here. And then the pen blade is almost hitting that liner. I don't think it quite is, but it's almost there. Uh, but anyway, let's open this up. It's really got a really good action for a little knife like this. I don't even think I've put mineral oil in here yet, so it might even improve. But the action is really good on that main blade. Um, once again, carbon steel. Uh, case is still doing their... We're not getting it back, guys. They're not going back to tank stamps. They're doing this laser edge thing now. I assume it saves them money. Um, that's cool and everything. Uh, they need to work on their quality control. Um, so, <laughs> you know, I can't really say that much about it. Like, I don't care about this when I'm getting knives that have uh, serious issues. Not this knife, but the uh, case razor that I talked about. Um, the only thing about this knife that I think that would upset some people, and it doesn't really upset me because of who I am, um, but let me see if I can show it off here. So this is a brand new knife. I got just got out of the box earlier today. You can see here, okay, the blade has some pretty significant scratches on it from something. I don't know if this is a problem when they were like sharpening it or something. Who knows? Um, but it's got some fairly significant scratches on the main blade. Now, if I was a collector, somebody who wanted to throw this knife in a box, have a pr pristine example and stuff, I'd be really upset about that. And to be honest, a brand new knife shouldn't come with scratches on the blade. You should be putting the scratches on the blade. Um, so, you know, it's not perfect. But as far as I'm concerned, the knife is fine in every other way. So the scratches on the blade don't really bother me because I'm going to cut things with it. So it's going to get scratched up anyway. And then, of course, you know, it's carbon steel. So I'm hoping it will develop a patina over time. Uh, but anyway, just figured I'd point that out because I know some people are going to. Or I know some people would have a big problem with that. Um, but other than that, I mean, this knife, pretty good. The action on the blade is really good for a little little knife like this. Um, the pen blade action, I think, is also pretty good. Yeah, it's more than good enough for a little pen blade like that. Uh, the pen blade on these is kind of almost silly, just because of how small it is. Uh, this knife is very tiny. Like, if you just want to have something to open boxes with, that's not going to scare anybody, and that is, you know, kind of a cute little thing. Uh, maybe your, I don't know, your mom wants a pocket knife or something just for opening Amazon packages. Um, of course, I'm talking to my audience, which is like uh, 35 and up, so it won't be your mom, maybe your uh, wife <laughs> or girlfriend or whatever wants a knife to open up uh, Amazon packages with. This is more than capable of doing that. It's very cute. You can get them in pink, I imagine. I imagine they have a pink bone handle, probably. Uh, maybe not. Um, but, you know, it's a cute little knife. Uh, I, I actually quite like the peanut. I don't really carry it much because uh, I have so many other knives. But I like it because, you know, it's really usable for how small it is and everything. Um, like I said, there's a whole, like, cult of them on uh, Blade Forums that love the Case Peanut. There's a lot of people out there that love the Case Peanut. Um, this knife is done pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it for what I paid for it. I think it was like $70, which isn't great. Or maybe it was 60 It might have been 60 I don't remember. I should keep the receipts for this stuff. Um, I think it was $60, which isn't amazing because uh, Case Knives used to be less than that, but with inflation and just everything going up. Uh, pocket knives have also gone up. Um, so you have to kind of expect that. Um, 
but I'm more than uh, more than happy enough with this case peanut. The only real issue, like I said, is the scratching on the blade, which is weird, but doesn't really bother me. Um, but yeah, so cool little knife. Happy with it. Does sound like it's hitting the back spring. It is hitting the back spring a little bit. <laughs> Just notice that. Yeah, so it's hitting the back spring a little bit. Um, I could maybe fix that, or I could just close the blade a little more carefully. But you'll get some older, older gentlemen out there that will tell you that this is how you're supposed to close a knife. So the very tip hits the back spring, um, so it has some blade wrap. Once again, not the end of the world or whatever. You just have to be careful when you're closing your blade, sharpen it out, or you know, find some other solution to that. Um, but yeah, nothing worth sending the knife back over or freaking out about or whatever. Um, and no blade play, surprisingly enough. No blade play on this knife at all. I was happy to see that. Um, but yeah, if Case could produce a knife that is 98%, 95, 98% there, uh, I would be happy with that. Now, I know some people wouldn't. Some people think that a knife should be uh, absolutely perfect. And in an ideal world, it would be. Um, but you got to remember, you're not paying uh, Great Eastern Cutlery prices uh, for a case knife. Now, uh, a case knife is not as cheap as like a Baron's Son. And I mean, Baron's Son seems like they've been stepping up their game a little bit lately. Uh, so case might have some competition. Um, but also there's just a whole bunch of older guys that just collect case knives and they just buy everything that case makes and they love case and they they see that name and they're just uh, they just buy it um so i don't think case is ever going to go out of business at least not anytime soon now maybe once all of the uh older folks out there that uh collect case knives uh pass away then case might be in trouble but honestly even with them producing their more modern folders and stuff they, i mean they might be okay um, and everybody's getting into traditional pocket knives these days, so who knows? But I would like to see Case uh, get back to being that company that I order a knife and I'm not worried about it. I know I'm going to get an okay, a decent, you know, pocket knife. I would like to see that from Case. I would like to not have to worry about the knife, you know, that I ordered. Uh, worry about it being messed up in some sort of way. Uh, just get back to that point where I know that what I'm going to get is going to be usable. Um, because right now, Case, um, the knives that I get from you aren't always usable. This one's perfectly fine, perfectly usable. Um, but <laughs> that Case Razor that I bought is not. Um, I should have brought it over here so I could show it again. I wasn't thinking. Uh, but anyway... Uh, that's going to be it for this video on this uh, case peanut here with the red jig bone and in carbon steel. Um, I will see you guys in the next one, and I hope you have a good day.